This is the third in a series of Beaverton Rotary videos on making fuel briquettes. This is a product of the Beaverton Rotary Oregon USA Rotary Club. The idea of these is so that these can be made as cooking fuel for third world countries where typically people can end up spending half of their disposable income just on cooking fuel if they're having to buy charcoal or, or wood. The idea is that they can use just readily available local uh, biomass, uh, this could be leaves, grasses, uh, rice husks, uh, coffee husks, things like that, whatever is available locally. Also if you have some charcoal fines, sawdust, uh, shredded paper, that can be added. For today's demonstration I'm using what's available locally here, which is some shredded paper from a paper shredder, some sawdust from a home wood shop, and some leaves and grass clippings from our backyard. What we do is we mix that up with, with water. The, we have already uh, taken and uh, decomposed the, the grasses and leaves so that they're broken down. Ideally you want everything to like a kind of a cornflake size piece or, or smaller. We take our tube, put it on the, the base, put in our center tube, and then add our material. center washer so now we can make two briquettes in one pressing. Basically fill it to the top. Put in our second one. And now we hand compress this down and now we're going to move this over put it on our press. Normally you'd have this pointed out the back but I thought for today's demonstration it would be good to have it in front so that you can see the water as it comes out. Once you got it all the way to the top, you now have compressed it. Take it off. Take it off. Take this off. Now invert it on our ejection stand and push down and we have our briquettes. There's one and the other. You'll notice the center hole is very important because that helps the to get better heat and uh, for the flame to form and burn. It's a natural chimney and you dry these in the sun. Um, in the tropics typically it would be about uh, three days and then this would be, be usable and uh, further north obviously it takes longer to, uh, to dry because you don't have the heat.